Hello everyone, it's Rita here and um, thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm going to try to make this a short video because I have an appointment to get my hair cut. So, um, this is an idea I saw on um, Camellia's Craft Designs, I believe it's or something like that, um, Julie. And she saw it from another um, YouTube uh, journal maker, I guess is what you call us. Um, I think her name was Margaret. So I, d I don't know for sure, but she said something about that she used to make this. She used um, copy dyed envelopes, the junk mail. So I have about 500 of them. <laughs> so I thought, oh, well, let's, do, let's do that, okay? So let me kind of show you how to do this. And if you've already seen it, that's great too, I guess. Um, but, um, and it never is going to fit in there. So, let's see, we could probably fold this up. This is going to be a small pocket here, just like always. And let me check, check a journal page. I want to make sure it's not... Yeah, see, I don't even really want to make um, a very big pocket here. Uh, I would like to just put small items down in here because I don't want to cover the window. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure, I'm going to go up. You Just check your journal page, whatever size. If you're doing a traveler's uh, notebook, uh, traveler's journal, um, this would be, the full thing would be great. Because you'd have a lot of space to, you know, build up that way. All right, so then we're going to cut off. This is the way. Uh, I don't know how she did it exactly. I know she cut edges off. So I'm going to just trim this. Now, if you have an envelope that's not dead center. Let's see, do I have one? For instance, this one is not in the center. So you would just cut an equal amount on each side of your center. Um, even on this small one, you could do that. I'll show you. I mean, to what we're going to do with this. I'll show you. All right. So, there's, you know, every time I see something where I think I can use junk mail, I just can't wait to, to make it. All right, let me see. I think that's all we have to do there. And I'm going to, well, I guess I'll glue this down. Um, okay. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one out. Bigger scissors. So this is all I'm doing here is showing you what what the steps are. Okay? So now we have this closed up here. If you have an envelope open uh, on the back, just close up all your openings and then go up each side a little bit to shorten your, your frame out. Now, because this one has writing, um, I would probably put something there and here. But this part here, let me, I'm going to trim this just a little more. Well, let me do it on here because it's just not even. Okay. And we need to make sure that this is attached. So if you like I do, usually I open the envelope at the bottom. I mean, I want to make sure that I always have my windows at the top, and so I leave that edge closed, and I just cut off, like here, see, I've just cut off my edge to take whatever was in here out. Okay, so now this folds up this way, and then we can cover this with something. And... I don't know what, but let's see. Let's try. 
try to find something to put in it. So I kind of thought, I don't know, like this one's got a lot of goopy on it, <laughs> edges. But see, I could put that little panda in there. I can cut this up here a little shorter and then I could get him in more. That would be cute. So let me put this page down. You can always reprint. Oh, you know what though? I wanted to make a poppy one on this. Um, hmm. Well. Yeah, because I don't know that I would use this if it's left over. Hold on, I want to see if I can find something. Poppy size. I have all these here. Yeah, I like that there. Okay. So, let me just um, kind of center that. And I think if I can take off. First, this way. Oh, I never get it right. There's got to be a system to this. The system is, is you have to have it down at the bottom where you can see. Adjust this. I do kind of like things off center though. I like it kind of like that. So I'm just going to cut this side down a little bit so we have a place to glue. And I haven't made these yet, so I don't know if I'm doing it the right way or not. So what we're basically doing is making a belly band. Or, I guess you could um, lay it down and, you know, make a side tuck here. But we're going to have this little part here. So let's find a little something to put there. Some of this. A little bit wider would have been nice. Um, really have any scrap paper yet either um, and I meant to take a picture or meant to uh, I have a poppy page I think it's from um, these are already maze by the way these um, poppies so let's see that would be fine um, let me mark this here and down here. And there it is. Well, barely going to see this. Um, okay. I can't believe this week. It, today it's Friday for me. This will be a Saturday for you guys, but I just can't believe this week is over already. I feel like. I just get started and it's it's over. I hope that's fairly straight, not really. That's not too bad. I can live with it always put something over this too like a word or 
or something. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to sew around it. So let's see if I put this on. Yes, I can sew here. Um, I might have to, like, should sew across there first. sure I have enough thread in my machine. Here I am in a hurry. Okay. So, and then here I can probably put just a little scrap of paper. That might look silly. Um, uh, well, let's see, a little scrap going along here. I wasn't planning on doing all of this part, but I might as well. You could collage this whole thing if you wanted to. But I find it very cumbersome to, I guess that would be a word I mean to use, because it know, just takes forever to do collage. I should mark my paper here so I know which where I have glued and where I haven't glued. All right, so I like that. And I still can go and do the edges of that. So I just need something here. Um, what, what? I guess I could just use a piece of plain. Mm. Let's see, uh, this one Mary did was is plain enough. That's plain, but um, how about that might be okay, or I could put some music. Kind of just like having that writing I'll go this way. to think about it I'm sure I could find you know I can't go looking for everything when I'm doing the videos and I can't pre-think it because I do pre-think a lot and it never works out that way all right so sorry for a mess here Oh, this um, splattering, when I went to clean my brush with, I just got regular rubbing alcohol, and I was cleaning my brush, and, you know, the alcohol turned that brown, and so I just went like that and played splattering, and I thought that was cool because it's barely the color. It's just, like, um, spotty looking. Okay, so now... I guess if you wanted to, you could leave this open inside. Um, and slide something in there. But I don't, I didn't think I wanted to use it for that purpose. All right, um, let's do, let's see, what else can I do? I was thinking a little, maybe a little stenciling around the edge. Bit 
bit more. You know, we almost don't even need the back of this, to be honest. Well, I guess, maybe, I don't know. I think I'm gonna stencil with some black. That's happened to me before. Maybe it was this I used to find a brush. Okay, let's see, where was that? This part, this is going to go into the journal part of the uh, journal. Okay, so now here we are. So I am going to glue this in just a little bit because I'm going to sew around it. bottom of the envelope. Okay. Ooh, that's cute. Alright, let me move all this junk. And I'm just going to sew across here first. I wonder if I shouldn't glue all this down because uh, it might be a problem with putting stuff behind it, even though I sew it. So I think I'm just going to go along this edge. Um, this glue was giving me a fit earlier, so it's probably clogged. Whoop, whoop there we go. But go over and look at uh, Julie's channel and, and see what you think. She's, um, she has such unique things that she does, I think. Um, there's so many people out there with unique things, but... Come on, glue. No, I mean, art glitter glue, if I wanted to take this apart, I wouldn't be able to, but I want it to stick good, and it doesn't want to. Okay, I guess it's 
all that there is. All right, I'm going to sew around the whole perimeter. Okay, so there it is. Now, this part will be glued into the page, wherever that page is. What is okay, so this will be glued in here like this at the top and the bottom. And then we will have a space for a journal card in here kind of wants to hang up on that little bit of an edge but that's it'll be fine and then um, in this little pocket I don't think I have anything handy um, okay. Oops. Losing everything. I know I have like little circles there we are. Um, so, for instance, I'm not putting these in here, but we could do something like that. See, and it doesn't cover the the uh, window. I think that's adorable. I didn't ink around here either. I'll do that. Um, okay, so that one I've finished and or mostly finished. We'll ink around it and find some cute little tags to put in that. Okay, so, um, the other one that I was working on is this. So what I did on this one, see how much skinnier that window is? I got these little pandas from the um, kit that I, I got with the pandas on it, and I'm hoping that these will fit in there good enough. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna glue these together somewhat. I couldn't really figure out a different way to do it. I thought, I'll just layer them. And what I think is cool is they, they're like, um, I just did that to keep them straight. They're like those photos that Tim Holtz has. So if you have those, you could stick them in one of these envelopes like this. But see, I'm just, don't know. Right now it's kind of plain other than the pandas. So this one I might end up collaging the whole part and that way it'll go over the panda a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this down so it's stable. It won't go anywhere. Uh, get this kind of centered here. Not easy, not easy. Okay. 
would have been fun to have more panda all of them in, but it didn't all fit. So I still think it's cute. All right, so this one I will cut off right here. And I'm not going to make this whole thing right now because um, I don't have time. How much? Ah, i got five minutes. Okie dokie. So I'm thinking I want to collage around this, these pandas. Um, and then that way I can go in a little bit with uh, my collage. Let me ink these this up a little. I think it would give me a little more. This one I splattered with that um, sepia ink. I don't know if I want to put a divot in this one. Hmm. Well, I have to cover it before the, the divot. Anyway. All right. So I, I think there's a lot of variations that you could do. I guess I should just do it with whatever papers I have. thought um, book pages would look good. <laughs> Old book page would look good in behind here. That way if you want to put a taller tag, but I think the whole point is just to have this window be the focus. side with this one. Oh, now I've only got three minutes. <laughs> got an ink. These are the pages that I... to yeah because I can see it'll be okay I might even put something out there I could put some washi tape or something okay um, and then cover that side too wild to it's taken away from the the pandas to think about what they were pandas so I think a book page would be better doesn't look too bad on there. Music note there. I 
guess I don't have to put anything on the other side. I don't have to fill it up. I just wanted to cover that uh, that part there, but um, maybe I don't. So I'll put something down here, and then we'll put little tags in there. Mm. Yeah, I just, um, I don't feel like it needs something. Let me see. It seems like lately everything I do is black. I mean, I it's like I need black to... When I sew that, though, that would, that'll probably... Crazy! I can't. I can't see. Uh... Mm -mm. If anything, I'd rather have it like up here to set off a little black a little. We need, and the you know the good thing about this is I could take it off. So that's going to be it. I will sew around this one like I did this one and then we'll put a little something down in the bottom and we'll probably lose that little guy but if I do something maybe more square um, I don't understand how things just um, you know what, I hope that fits. Yes, I think I did measure, pre-measured it. Um, when I just have things and then all of a sudden... Hmm, I was looking for the little... Where I got the pandas from. The page. I don't know what I did with them. Hmm. Alrighty, well... Um, I'll find them because there is some little tags. These were tags that I cut out. These little guys. Yeah, they won't go in there. All right, so I, like I said, I don't know what I did with them. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, sorry for all this mess. I, I just cannot um, keep it looking right. Looking nice. I want to make a whole bunch of those. Here's a little tag. Whoops, wrong one. I don't want that one. I don't want pandas on this one. Yeah, we're going to end up losing that little guy no matter what. So, I'll have to figure out what I can do to make that better. All right, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Sorry I took so long. Bye.